The state government has taken another step to reduce the high number of deaths from quad bikes. A new advertising campaign is being rolled out in regional New South Wales, pointing out the dangers of the vehicles. And while the move has been welcomed, advocacy groups say more needs to be done. State political reporter Ashley Raper has more. When I was 14 years old, I had a quad accident. Meet Amber Thomas. She's the new face of a state government advertising campaign. My whole jaw had been like moved to the side and I was screaming and yelling but I couldn't get words out. Her words now are being used as a warning to others. So to a Graham Browns, a 70 year old farmer from Orange. I could have been killed. Suffocated. I think it'll send a powerful message that these things are not toys and they need to be used safely. Five people have died in accidents so far this year in New South Wales alone. It's unacceptable. Quad bikes are very dangerous and a lot more needs to be done to improve safety of farmers in their workplace. The measures to make quad bikes safer have been scrutinised and debated since the coronial inquiry in 2015. Eight recommendations were made and the public awareness campaign is the latest to be adopted. The government has also introduced and then increased rebates for farmers who make their quad bikes safer and there's free training. Those who take part receive a free helmet, but the government hasn't made helmets or seatbelts mandatory, nor has it legislated to ban children under the age of 16 from riding an adult quad bike. Why don't you go a step further and make helmets mandatory? We'd encourage everyone to wear a helmet when using a quad bike, but the reality is there are 58 million hectares of farmland throughout New South Wales, so policing it would just be impractical. We'd like to see um, restriction of all children under the age of 16 riding quad bikes, um, mandatory protection for quad bikes, so mandatory rollover protection, mandatory helmet use. Manufacturers too are being called on to play their part. The stability of a quad bike and its handling characteristics can be significantly improved by design changes. For now, the changes already in place are a welcome first step. Ashley Raper, ABC News.